This is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Today we are checking out the all new 2020 Jeep Gladiator. This is the second Gladiator we've had. We actually sold the first one that we got so fast that I didn't have time to take a video of it. So we're gonna do a video on this one. Our first one was black and this one is Firecracker Red. We're gonna do a walk around here so you can see the outside of the vehicle. Um, check out the styling cues. And then we'll get up close and personal with this particular Wrangler, or Gladiator. And uh, just go over the exact options on this one. This one's optioned out pretty well, has the advanced technology package and the leather seats and the navigation and all that good stuff. So we'll check out the styling cues, we'll check out the options on this one, and just go over some of the information for the new Gladiator. This particular Gladiator is a Rubicon package, which is the trim level, and it has Wild Peak 33 inch tires. These are Wild or Falcon Wild Peak MT LT28570 R17s, and they come with these 17 inch painted and polished aluminum rims has a little jeep logo on there some nice tread pattern on that mud terrain tire comes with the fox 2.0 shocks frame and everything we'll take a look underneath here has the led lighting in the fenders there, the LED ring around the headlights and the LED headlamps themselves. It also has the LED fog lamps, of course the red tow hooks, the seven slotted grill, has the kind of plastic front bumper on this one. The rear bumper is metal, has the color matched fender flares, or color matched fenders I should say, has the rock rails all the way down the body and it has those rock rails go down the back of the box there too. Take a look at the window sticker for this one. You can pause it right there to see some of the options. Pause it again. Sticker on this one is 58,985. You can see from the back door here on is where they have all the uh, new Gladiator stuff. It is still a three-piece hardtop, of course a little bit different hardtop than on the Wranglers. It has the two pieces in front and of course this back piece is more like the truck back. Um, has the sliding rear window. Um, looks like it'd be a little bit lighter than the actual Wrangler hardtop. Has the Fox shocks back here, we'll check out the suspension and everything and obviously you can stop it at any point to take a better look. And the spare tire is back there as well. Of course it's got four wheel disc brakes on it. Coming around to the back you notice it has a metal bumper, the two tow hooks. This one has the towing package on it. You get a four pin and a seven pin wiring and a receiver hitch. So when properly equipped, you can tow up to 7,650 pounds with these Gladiators. Now, I don't know if it's for this particular one, um, if this one has the max towing package available, but the max towing is 7,650. Has the LED bed lighting, the cargo rail management system with the four tie down cleats. And it does have the 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in right there as well. What I liked about this tailgate is that it is very light and it has kind of a shock so it's never going to slam down on you. So I can just open it, let go of it, and it goes down all on its own. Really nice there. has the LED tail lamps. Once again, those um, rock rails on the back so that you're not going to crush anything on the body when you're doing off-roading things. Still has the T50 to take those doors off. Has the 
uh, blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, the enter and go system. So you just have to have the key in your pocket and those doors will unlock automatically. It has remote start, cold weather group, so it gives you the heated seats. You can see it has the nice black leather with the red stitching, driver's seat height adjuster, and factory floor mats. It has the auto headlamps. And as we hop inside here, you can see that just like the Wrangler JLs, has the seven inch TFT display, the digital speedometer, the compass and outside temperature display. Um, basically from the front doors forward, it's just like the Wranglers. There's absolutely no difference that I can tell. Um, has the cruise controls on the right, has the adaptive cruise controls right here, has forward collision warning, um, Bluetooth and information center controls, and of course it has the audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Has the 8.4 4C radio, you get factory navigation, you also can do your climate controls right here, you can check out the backup camera, has AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, and it also has the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities. One thing with that backup camera, just notice how high definition that uh, camera is. Very sharp and clear, which is what I love on these Wranglers and Gladiators now. You can also do your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons and dual climate control. Has start stop and um, stability control. You can turn up, turn those backup parking sensors off and has select speed control. Then you can turn the screen off there as well. Power windows, you got your front and rear, or just rear only locking differentials. Sway bar disconnect, your four upfitter switches. Has a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack. Kind of going through this stuff fast because um, very, very similar to the Wranglers up front here. Um, has the insulated hard top. So you get this, it's kind of a foam pad in here. It's covered with some nice cloth material. Um, they got that on both of these and on the back piece. It has the SOS system, the auto dimming mirror, and it does have home link. To get this hard top pieces off, very similar to the Wrangler, you got your two main latches right there, and then you have your quick snap offs right there. There's one on that, then two on the back here as well. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. Sorry about that. So this back seat is, uh, this is what's all new for the Gladiator here, so really want to pay attention um, has the sliding rear window this is a manual slide so you just have to grab it and open it slides nice and smooth locks in right there has the built-in rear defrost these head rests do go down so you can see when nobody's in the back and these seats they fold down as well just a little strap right there that you pull to bring that back seat down has a storage area back here, not huge, but there's a cargo net. This is where your top tether anchor goes on the, for the car seats. You do have a Torx right here, part of the removal of the hard top piece, which we have not taken a hard top off of one of these yet, since this is only our second one and our first one sold in about 24 hours. Anyways, you get the insulated hard top piece right there as well. These seats do uh, fold up like so so that, and they kind of like snap in, but there's no release. You just push them down a little and then they'll go. There's a locking storage bin back here as well. And that locks with the ignition key. And then you do have your storage area for all your bolts uh, for the hard top pieces. And I would imagine for the doors and the windshield as well. Factory floor mats back here, 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, and then you get two USBs and two USB-Cs back here, and those are your window controls as well. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, the walk around here. Point out it has bed rail covers, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, 285 horsepower. And once again, I'd like to thank you for checking out the video. If you'd like to check out more HD videos like this one, you can go to our YouTube site, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Wrangler videos like this one and Gladiator videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website, click those, check us out. And uh, we're really looking forward to selling a bunch of these 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicons. Thanks again.